Cohen, Jerry Jones, has a message for the NFC East. He tells the Fort Worth Star-Telegram, I will say that Philadelphia, and you will the Giants and Washington team, they need to be on their game, because we are. We're going to be on our game, and we will be the impro improved over last year. Oh, the gift that keeps on giving, that is the owner, Jerry Jones. Hello, fellas. How are we doing? So let's start with you, Jeff Darlington. Your reaction to Jerry Jones's comments. I love it. I'm fine with it. He is the most entertaining owner in football and perhaps all of sports. He knows exactly what he's doing when he's doing this. It's all about the drama. It's all about the storylines. Yes, the NFC East is the most overrated division in all of sports. No, the Dallas Cowboys are not in position to be in first place in it. Uh, basically, everything he says, I don't necessarily believe. But I do love it because it means football's around the corner. I love Jerry Jones. I love everything he says. I am totally fine with it. Lewis, you're shaking your head. So am I. <laughs> I mean, hey, man. I mean, what, what else do you expect? What else do you expect from, from Jerry? Look, Jerry gets it. It's more than just about football when the games are played. There's the lead-up to the game being played. There's the engagement with the fan base, getting people excited, raising expectations, raising hope, putting pressure on his football team, quite honestly, to say, hey, look, and in particular, the guy on your screen, Dak Prescott, you can't have a repeat of what you had in San Francisco when our season ended last year. You can't be turning the football over like that. We're supposed to be better. We're supposed to be better on offense. We got you another wide receiver. Tony Pollard, I hope, is going to be healthy for the entire season because he's going to have to carry the load. Zach Martin, we'll get that figured out. Defensively, Micah Parsons, we have a defensive player of the year type player right here, a guy who's going to get ridiculous type of money here, you know, in the future. Yeah, he is raising expectations, but I will say this about the NFC East. I don't believe it's the most overrated division anymore, simply because I think over the past two to three years, let's just say over the past two years in particular, and with the Giants starting with last year, with the changeover in terms of regime, this, this division is legit. Washington yeah. is legit. No, they will that get is going fair, Lewis. offensively and defensively. They're one of the very best. So let's just see how, how this all pans, pans out. Yeah, and, and again, you know, the one thing that Dallas doesn't need is attention. They certainly get it. Any added attention yeah. might be considered a bit of a distraction. So, Mike T., from a team perspective, how do you view these types of comments? Jerry's coming from a good place. He just wants to get that. You know, he, he feels good about his team. But if you're in that front office or if you're in that within the walls there in Dallas, how are you feeling about these comments? I don't like it. There's a time and a place for an owner to talk. You know, you're going to retain Mike McCarthy. <laughs> you're going to fire Kellen Moore. Then, you know, have at it. But we don't see Jeff Laurie out there talking about how good Jalen Hurts is right now. And Philadelphia arguably may have the better team. Now, I do Mike. think Dallas actually got better. Well, I'm just telling you, like, they don't need any more of this pressure from their owner. They wah, know what wah, the expectations wah. are. They have a star on the side of that helmet. <laughs> Now, I actually do think they got better, guys. When you think about adding Brandon Cooks, who's 29 years old mm. and can stretch the field, and Stephon mm. Gilmore, who should be a really good corner opposite Trayvon Diggs. So, to me, this is a team that got better. And to Lewis's point, this is going to be a really fun division. I think Washington is definitely better. And I think Philadelphia and Dallas will be going back and forth all season long. Wait a minute. All right. Yeah. Darlington, you're shaking your head. You're booing You're booing Mike T. Oh, you're Mike all about T. the WWE of I all mean, this, aren't you? Yeah, Mike. You're not a GM anymore, man. You're on TV. Let's go. What are you talking about? <laughs> this isn't boring. What are we doing? Let's have some fun. It's about football. Jeffrey Lurie wouldn't do that. Who cares? <laughs> Jeffrey Lurie's wonderful guy. Boring owner. Jerry Jones. Magnifying the entire NFL. Come on, Mike T. You know what though? You know what? You know what I'll say? I'll say just to piggyback that. Look, I think it's so quite honestly, I, I think it's okay for Jerry to ramp up expectations and put some pressure on his football team. We put pressure on the football team. They know what the expectation expectation is this year. Dak in particular knows. I can't have double-digit interceptions. We can't keep having these kind of playoff exits. We can't keep not making the playoffs. We can't keep not getting to at least the NFC title game and getting back to the Super Bowl. There's a tremendous history with this football team, a tremendous history that, quite honestly, in the recent past has not been as glorious as it used to be in the early 90s when I was playing against those teams that were just steamrolling everyone. So you know what? I'm, I'm quite honestly, look, you know, all, all joking aside – 
I'm fine with him doing this. As a matter of fact, they need this kind of thing. Mike McCarthy needs yeah. this kind of kick in the rear end because this football team better deliver. My favorite quote from Jerry Jones is I, sometimes we play this. It's a lot of times with that, 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 that sound you hear across Texas, that's me up late at night trying to figure out ways that we can win a Super Bowl. Like, he is obsessed with it. He'll keep talking about it. And I'm with Jeff. Uh, we love it. But if you're in Dallas, you're like, Jerry, please not now. Don't forget to watch Get Up every weekday morning on ESPN between 8 and 10 a.m. Eastern. Stay tuned for more exclusive Get Up content on YouTube as well.